evening it's nice to be back Liz and I are going to start doing videos again Liz has been up in Scotland for quite some time is it up or is it down it's up isn't it <laughs> yeah, <thank you. laughs> anyway so she's back now and we're going to try to do a video most weeks except for in September when we're both away and um, hopefully you'll join us we thought we might do some live ones so I'd like to see in the thread if you'd like to join us on some live videos, then you can ask some questions or you could ask me to demonstrate something that you want to know how to do. So tonight I'm going to use my favourite things, my own colour, which is Colour to Clay, which comes in 19 colours, well 18, and then we're going to introduce grey, but at the minute we make grey out of the white and black. And I'm going to use the sponges. So these are the sponges that I'm going to use today to create a design and the only two other things I'm going to use besides the sponges and the paints are a banding sponge and a number one liner. So um, I'm going to demonstrate first of all on just a plate that um, I've demonstrated on many times. So let me just get rid of these. Just to make, just to kind of see the back, the sponges and the uh, banding sponge and the and the um, brush are all available on Rachel's website, which are by ceramics, banding sponges, one pound, and then obviously you can buy in multiples if you need it. Um, and the sponges range from two pounds ninety eh, for the small and tiny ones, up to four pounds ninety for the medium and large ones, large multiple ones. And then we have some, we have a couple a bit more than that, like five fifty. Um, so the range from 290, 390 and 490 um, for the sponges um, and the ones that are multiple you can cut up which yeah. is good so yeah so um, so here I have cut a lot up so you'll see some very little tiny ones there I'm not sure if you can see them on the camera yeah you can yeah. see this one yeah I just um, mentioned about the brush I don't know how much that is because you've uh, just got that one in, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, I think it. I think it's four pounds ten. I think. Okay. So three ninety five or four ten. Um. So these are some that I have chopped up, and this small leaf, uh, here, this one, and this one, and this one, actually aren't leaves. They are actually chopped up from the ponsettia. So we've dedicated an odd poncettia and made leaves. So then if we have a workshop, we've got six leaves to give out. So and basically all you need to do is just get a sharp pair of scissors and just rip, rip down. And then I shorten them as well. I take some of this sponge away because this side, occasionally I do use it to do pure circles and things, but there is no skin on this surface here. Whereas the other side is designed with a special skin which is hand sprayed on so occasionally it can be slightly thicker in one area than the other but without the skin you wouldn't get the um the tight the great sponge edge can i just clarify something rachel Go on. you just said it was dedicated i think you meant desiccated <laughs> <laughs> desiccated whatever or, 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 i murdered it chopped yeah, it up, chopped it up. <laughs> yeah okay so um so what i've done first of all is, is i have some water here and I've put all of these sponges in the water wring them out so they're all damp but they have you can't get any more water out of them because they work much better when they're damp now you can use them all together like this or you may want to chop them up like this so this is this one chopped up so if you're using it like this basically you would get a group of flowers so um, if you look at the what I'm going to do tonight uh, this is the design here, so you can see here behind me there is a cake plate that I've done and here is a, a small dish that is handmade with a former from Scarva in Ireland uh, which is easy to make and it's done with stoneware clay so I have actually painted it white because the stoneware clay if you look is just slightly off-white so this I have painted the bars this is a hand-thrown vase that I've done and then this is a a mug of, I think it's from a company called Country Love it's so it's a slip cast mug I think they're from Italy 
Uh, and this is another one which is also from Country Love Crafts now they call it. I used to work there a long time ago. Um, so that's the colour of that mug and it's the same sort of style as Emma Bridgewater has with the bump on the bottom. Uh, and basically you just fill it. So the, uh, the only brushes used here are for the bird's tail. So and then we've got the banding sponge for the top. And we call this design Paradise Garden, am I right? That's right. Yeah, yeah I retail it as Paradise Garden, so you can put your own little uh, name to it and change it a little bit and make it your own. So I'm going to start just by demonstrating the bird. So before Rachel starts, I'm just going to tilt the camera slightly down so we can see the plate. And I'll have a quick sip of my wine. I wasn't oh, we can to... see the plate and the wine. <laughs> and not Rachel's face. It was going to be a dry night tonight, as last night, because I'm on a diet, but then I thought, making a video, you've got to have a glass of wine. So I'm going to start with, um, if I put this a little bit closer, can you see the colour scheme there? Yeah? Yeah. So if you look at the bird, you can make it any colour you want. The hummingbirds are very uh, detailed birds, so you put it on with your finger. So I'm going to mix the paint and push it down onto the sponge and push it into the sponge like that and then I've got a piece of tissue here just to wipe my finger and then I'm going to do the, the lime green on the end of the wings and the lime green on his tail and then he's going to have a navy blue head coming slightly onto his belly there and then a little bit more turquoise a bit lower down so you can see you use very little paint the whole design of this if you added all that paint together would probably be no more than a flat tablespoon full of colour because it's pure pigment so uh, the colour to clay is my own brand and you can only buy it from me uh, if you want to use another brand, I'd suggest you use something like, if you can get a hold of uh, Duncan One Stroke EZ, they're great to use for this kind of technique. Or somebody else might use a, a different kind of um, MGO clay paint or One Stroke. Th that kind of paint is always better than using a, a, a frit-based paint. We do a frit-based paint. Uh, called Studio Strokes, and then there's Stroke and Co, and then there's um, what's the other one? Stroke and Co, and uh, uh, Fun Strokes. strokes yeah. um, which for this, because you're only sponging one time, it's just better to use a stronger type pigment. Anyway, so when you've done that, I think hopefully you can see. I'm just going to smear it together a little bit, and you can see that it's absorbed into the sponge. You can't see it sticking out anywhere. So then I've got my plate here, which I should have actually just damp sponged a little bit. Um, I'll use the back of this sponge here, look. Okay. Because it's, this is just a scrap plate, which has been painted many, many, many times. And I'm only demonstrating on this just to show you how each individual thing is done. So once you've done that, and the plate shouldn't be uh, too wet, this probably isn't the best of plates simply because it's been washed many, many, many times. So I'm going to put that down like so. If it was on something round, you would rock it slightly. Don't put loads and loads of pressure on because you'd distort the sponge. So you push it down, leave it a few seconds for the, the bisque to absorb the colour. And you could be putting this onto uh, greenware, so unfired clay, because it's clay paint. You can put it onto bisque. Uh, you can use uh, t-shirt paints and do it onto t-shirts. You can even make your do your own wallpaper, do a drop a plumb line and then do a design down a wall, which looks really lovely. You can do it on things like leather. You just basically change the medium. I do a lot of things with acrylics with them. You just have to wash the sponge quickly because acrylics obviously do stain your pieces and you can see this one's been used for a t-shirt because it's permanently blue we are going to do 
some yeah, I'm going to do a t-shirt workshop at some point. At some so, point. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, we just awesome. bought some t-shirts and I'm just going to wash them before Keep I do Keep an eye on the channel for that. Yeah. So there we have one bird. Okay, so that's how you do the bird. If I was going to do the little flowers, I would basically, if I was doing the group like so, and then just take a tiny bit of dark blue, um, and just do the edges. So easy to use, aren't they? So easy. I mean, we, we had some kids in last weekend uh, in the studio. They'd made their own pots. They'd been on the potter's wheel with Rachel and they'd made their own pots. And then they um, they actually painted them and then they were using the sponges. And they've come out absolutely gorgeous, the, the, pots. the paw prints that they used for the sponges. So this is the little <clears throat> tiny tiny um um probably, it, was it, i don't know what it was off actually i think it's off i think it's off one of these i've just chopped it off the tiny daisy look oh yeah yeah, Possibly, yeah. just to make the tiniest of leaves and it leaves should i say and i've only had one sip so <laughs> and the naked gin and tonic before that yes we had a non-alcoholic gin and tonic That's not quite working as well as I would hope. I think this is starting to build up a film with it being painted too many, many times. What I do is when that's been painted a lot of times and it stops wanting to paint well, I base coat it in uh, clay paint and then I put it in the kiln and, and fire it and then it just makes the surface. This is slippy almost. You have got your other thing that you're going to finish Yeah, I'm going to finish off the other thing. And then for the hibiscus... Um, uh, the big one yeah so for the hibiscus uh, i'd start off with the yellow so you can put it all into the yellow if you want or you can just not waste paint and put it where you actually want it so i'm just smudging it around the hibiscus and the hibiscus i've actually chopped that up and uh i did um a poppy uh, i'm sorry a pansy uh, set dinner set by chopping up these petals because if you look at the petals they're the shape of a pansy so you put those two at the bottom and two little ones at the top and one straight up i don't know if it's around here anyway is it oh yes it is yeah liz is just getting it for me and so, so this is what i've done with the hibiscus by just chopping up the petals and making them look like a pansy so it's quite endless what you can do you have to just use your imagination so if you find it difficult to get to a certain area you can either take a brush and paint that area or you can pull it apart like this squeeze it apart and paint it or do it with your finger i'm just going to paint it we were going to actually um say at the beginning of the um video that if you heard music in the background but it's actually stopped <laughs> yeah because we've um we've got some people staying in the um in rachel's um airbnb pottery apartment across from the pottery um that are going to the, the races they're already there probably finished by now the races point of fact races tonight um, and we've just been talking, I've been telling Rachel that um, Pontefract Racecourse is the longest flat racecourse in Europe. You shouldn't know that. No. Yeah. So you get a few steps in there. Yeah, three miles I think it is. All the way wow. Well, yeah. I think I feel like I've done three miles today. I've actually done 8,000 steps just being in the studio, which is quite surprising you did how they add up. And we have a porcelain floor so I can feel it, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> So look, I'm smearing the, the orange into the yellow and then I might smear the yellow into the orange. So that's the way that you make them look hand painted. And then I've actually put a little tiny bit of pink in the middle. So I'm going to push it open. They are really idiot proof, aren't they? You are. Maybe we could use them and do them and and make a pot look like it's absolutely fantastic, like it's been done professionally. 
Well, these sponges are, are the same kind of sponges as Emma Bridgewater uses with her lovely pottery. And she actually has them play, made in the same place of the same sponge. But she doesn't retail her sponges. She just sells finished ware. So they're great for finished ware. So basically, again, you pop that down. It's flat, so I don't need to rock it and just give it a little push. Not too much, because if you push it too much, you'll smear and, and you'll make it um, distort. There we go. So that's basically some of uh, the, the uh, designs I'm going to put on. And then the only brush that I've used is this large brush here to do the bird's tail. So I'm loading up, fully loading, with turquoise, well, kingfisher blue they call it, and then dipping it in this dark blue. And then put your finger, pick your finger right up and pressure on, pressure off. Pressure on, pressure off, so that it goes thick at the bottom and thin at the top. So you can see, and then um, if you were going to band it, I found that a lot of studios or people that come training haven't seen banding sponges in studios before. So just to show you how to band. You basically you pick up the paint on the brush uh, on the banding sponge which has already been I've dampened it already in the bucket and um, I let the the paint absorb like this and pick your your plate up as if it like you were chopping a pie if you've been baking and you just roll it around like that. Sometimes you can get all the way around if it's a small plate. And then if you want it slightly on the top, just tilt it in a wee bit. Oh, that was a Scottish work. Do you know, somebody said to me the other day, you, you've been to Scotland a lot, haven't you? Because you say wee a lot. <laughs> I said, well, no, Liz has been here 25 years. It's just it's starting to <laughs> it's rub <horrible>. off. <laughs> yeah. So you can see, basically, when you do that, it frames the design that you've done. Looks which I think looks finished. nice. Looks finished, yeah. Or you can do things like use a, a, uh, have a look. I've got a rake brush somewhere. Oh no, maybe I haven't in here. Oh yes, I have there. This is what we call a rake. It's my own brush set. You can see it's all uneven. So before you use a brush, you should always put paint water into it and then take it out. So if I wanted a raggy edge, you make sure it's separate and then you can flick. You see you flick from the out in. And that looks that looks quite good on the plate as well. Mm -hmm. just a little bit different this also does great flowers which i'll show another time so that's the uh, just a practice on a sample so this is a um a pot that i've already started this is a um what are they called? yarn bowl yarn bowl i think one, yeah it? it's nice i think i got this i think these are from yeah. country love ceramics as well so you can see i started this um Oh gosh, quite a while ago. Um, if you use uh, if you use water in a little spritzy bottle, you can actually that see. One that's evaporated. Yeah, we haven't been up here for a while painting because mm. this is the this is the shop up here. This is like the cash and carry shop, so we don't use it to teach. So if you look at that, and then if you want to know what it's going to look like when it's finished, you just spray it. Look, you see how, can you see it changing colour? Mm -hmm. And that's what the water does. So if you had a student who was um, painting a figurine and she said to you, have I put enough on? Just spray it with a little water spritzer. You can get them from Hobbycraft or we have them on our site as well. Sure. A lot cheaper than they are from Hobbycraft. Just watch your band and sponge feed. Love, oh, love the bit of it. 
Ooh. Oh yeah, I did. So you'll have to make it. Yes, I'll have, have to make that make into something. something. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, I'll do that later. So you can see the kind of colour it's going to be. Um, I'm going to put some little fine tendrils on this. So this is these are little tapestry stamps. Uh, and you can get these off Etsy, a company called, I think that she calls them tapestry stamps. And um, unfortunately, they're from the States, so you have to send for them. Uh, and we just put the colour on. You can either use the back of a sponge or I usually use, I'm going to have to actually get up, which I always hate having to do once I've started. But... Um, you have some little uh, dowel sponges oh. and the reason why she's had to get off is because i've got bad knees and they're right at the top of the shelf uh, <laughs> and i can't reach i can only just right okay Oop. so the, the the way to use these correctly is to use something like this so it's a little dowel sponge to take that out of stock now <laughs> sorry <laughs> i keep helping myself to the shop you see and then and then the stock levels aren't right on the website so just tap 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 like so very little paint again and you can only stamp once so it's just like a filler so you just straight down straight up can you see that mm -hmm. I really do like these and I wish they were in England but they're not. I keep thinking I'll make some but um, you have to get a sheet of about a thousand I think or something if you have them made and then stick them all on yourself. And But basically it's just a filler and you, you, you can only stamp one time and then um, it runs out of ink because it's rubber. So it doesn't hold colour, it disperses the colour and that's it, it's gone. And then you could put, you could put little berries on there, you could leave it blank. But it just adds another dimension to the pot. And you can see you don't have to go get any more colour. There's enough green on there to fill the whole pot with little tendrils. And I haven't worried about which way around I've done it. I don't think it really matters. We've been talking about different sponges and like designs and things like that, haven't we? We were, we were actually talking at one point about doing some kind of like filigree type design, weren't we? But of course, I am the, the sponge plucker. <laughs> And I wouldn't relish plucking, plucking tendrils, that's for sure. No. Because there no. are some of the sponges that are quite difficult to pluck. Yeah. Especially when they get really small and... Well, the one you yeah. don't like is the uh, roses, isn't it? Oh, I hate the roses. Yeah. Yeah. I like, and the small rose, it's really difficult because it's got so many little fill, little infills that you've got to pick it, pluck out. Yeah, because they come to us um, in a great big block and then uh, we have to, um, they're lasered halfway down and then you have to pluck all the... All the bits that you don't need. Yeah, I'll show you one in a minute. I'll show you what a sheet looks like. Uh, I've often said to people, would you like to pluck your own? I have an agent, Drew, in America uh, from uh, Mud Zone and she sells the sponges in America and I said, would you like to pluck them yourself? And she said, no. <laughs> after watching they come like that so they uh, you have uh, on the biggest one you have eight on the next one down you have 15 on the next one down after that you've got 32 so you have to have the 50. full sheet oh and then 50 of the tiny ones yeah, yeah. so it's so with that one you have to pluck all the the outer part of it okay, all and all the detail in between the yeah, so we uh, have some so very nice, have some, uh, nice tweezers and she's got some nice homework to take home. <laughs> she normally takes it home and plucks by the Watch TV. So you can see that's probably, probably just about enough of those. 
Can you see I never I didn't load up with any extra paint onto the sponge. The thing is not to overuse the paint. It goes a long, long way. I mean, as you can see, I could probably paint, I would think two or maybe three of those with what I've got on there. So, right, I'm not gonna band this. I think it's better unbanded. I'm not gonna do anything with that. Uh, I probably could make it into a leaf, I guess. Or I could use a big sander and sand it off, but I'm going to leave it for now. And I'm just wondering if that needs anything else, or would you say that's enough? Mm. Or maybe some little. We'll I know what I'll do. That for a pack. Some little tiny pink ones, yeah? See the front bit of it. I'm going to put some more stuff on the front bit with where? where you're pulling it. Here. Where you're pulling your yarn. Oh, right. Okay. There. So I'll put some of these, look. So dab, dab, dab. I'm not going to put two colours on this, this little fella. There's some pink ones, and then we'll turn it here as if it's belonging to those tendrils. And here. Now, when I first got these paints, I said you're best firing them in because they were designed to go onto greenware, not bisque. But then I find that it's not actually necessary, so we don't fire them in. On the very odd occasion that somebody's used. Too much. too much which we always put a tiny bit out and say you only need one coat you don't need to go back and back and back um if it does cut it comes out a little bit dry if they if they put oodles of paint on but we're normally there to box their ears and we so. also discovered that it goes on china oh yeah. China, yeah which was yeah it did the uh, accident yeah so um i haven't got any up here but there's, there's my here is that? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it hasn't been fired That's yet. That's not been fired, just no. bit soft. Yeah, yeah, I just, I just put some spots on this sugar bowl. Um, it's got a little lid. But I do a lot of brush strokes and I buy white china in, which is finished and glazed. And you just basically use the clay paints with the sponges um, or, or hand paint. I do a lot of hand painting. And then basically you just fire it. You don't need to put any more glaze onto it. And that one's a bit blobby, Rachel. It's always harder painting inside something, isn't it? Can't actually see what I'm doing. What do you think? More? I think it wants something. I just think something at that front part it just feels a wee bit bare. Think it... mm, maybe not as much as that. Unless you can well, I could use the small one. Yeah, I'll I use a small hibiscus. Yeah. Okay, so we'll do a small hibiscus. There we go. We'll use that one. That's small. So, if you look at in it, the yellow, dab, 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 dab. Make sure you haven't got it on the sponge where you don't want it. Oh, look. Sack the plucker. I just saw a bit unplucked there. Oh, I, the I know I, been it would have been me. <laughs> Because so, I've not been here for all that day. I know, I had to pluck my own, gosh. And I did take a young lady on, but she didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> she said, oh, I don't like it. And then I tried my husband, and he just plucked the wrong things. So he said, oh, don't ask me to do it. So we, we um, you were just back to Liz and I, so doing the plucking. So now this is quite small, so I think I have to paint a little bit of uh, pink in the middle to match just on that bit there and we'll see if we can get it on here I'll put one here oh yeah that looks nice yeah. and I don't know if it'll do another or not. Am I going to risk it? I'll just put a tiny bit more yellow on. Probably would have done. <coughs> Sometimes they do, don't they? You can, you can get a couple on a couple. out of one application of paint. You can do any more than, than two. Because then it messes some, doesn't it? It messes. Yeah, it gets a little bit faint. Sometimes it's nice if you're doing something um, leaves. And you can do some faded out ones. Oops, I missed a petal. There we go. I'm going to risk it. Look, I'm going to put one here so you can see. Can you see? Yeah. 
yeah to the second one Yay. and then i'm just going to do some small leaves and i put that small leaf <coughs> maybe this one so i've got into that lime green a little bit of dark green blend, blend it a wee bit there we go another wee for you <laughs> <laughs> and just pop some leaves there yeah one night we counted so I, I, rachel didn't even realize and i was just counting them and found was something like 50 odd wees no littles oh no littles it was that day yeah and now it's wees what's yeah. that all about i missed you <laughs> So you can see I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it hasn't really faded. Eight of these. And then I'm going to do some small blue flowers. So I'll put it in there. I'm trying to be quick because I don't really like videos to be too long. Oops, that was a real mess, Rachel. That'll do. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no more wheeze. <laughs> Now I've taken all the paint off and made it look messy. So look, I've messed it all up, that one. It's too big as well. I think that's a better one. I don't like it when it's one colour, unless it's tiny. Or wee. <laughs> and if you have made a mistake, like I've smudged that one now, all I'll do is wait while it's dry and then I'll sand it off with a bisque sander. That will do. And then I do some small little, um, small and little and wee dots. If I can find a stylus or a brush with an end on it, that'll do. Just to do the middle of the flowers. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Use a stylus for this. That'll do. Yeah. Just needs a few more of the middles filling. And then that's ready to dip after I sanded this off on this blobby flower here which I'm going to just wait when it's a little bit drier and then wash my hands as I'm getting caked and then <laughs> sand it off sand it off so I hope you've all enjoyed that I hope you will subscribe I hope you'll um, go to the site and also if you leave a comment of what you'd like me to do next or if you'd like to join in on a live show let us know anyway have a good evening bye from Liz and Rachel Bye. Bye.